<laughs> and and then what happened? He he said, "Adik, adik, boleh tukar lonceng." <laughs> But my point is, <laughs> this was a bus full of people. And this bangla was just shouting non-stop. Everyone just either did nothing, minded their own business, and others just looked away. Any one of them could have done something. But no. That, Tuan Tuan and Puan, is diffusion of responsibility. Okay, let's just use that good example. We'll just finish it by tonight because I got a match to catch, yeah? Wait. Wait a minute. So if no one did anything, what do you do? I... I pushed him back. <laughs> I still don't think it's good enough for the presentation. Let's just go with this idea. We don't argue and we'll just finish it, okay? I'm not arguing, okay? This is a serious subject. All I'm saying is that you can find a better example than Sunny here being a jerk. So you got a better story? I do! Okay, hey, sorry, sorry. So I was in the park the other day doing some jogging. Eh? I was not at the park la. I was in Bangsa. <laughs> I remember because I saw this gorgeous stop in the window. <gasps> And I knew I had to have it. So I joined the queue when I saw this slang child leave his phone behind. And it was so weird because no one else saw it. Not the other customers. Not even the cashier girl. Hmm. So since no one wanted it, I thought, can I have it? Melati, there has nothing to do with diffusion of responsibility. We're going to be here all night. Okay, guys, can we just recap everything we learned? Melati, pass the little pad. Diffusion of responsibility. Okay, here is our test subject. Now, Mr. Stickman here is feeling a little hungry. He takes a bite from our juicy red apple over here. And oh, he starts choking! But somebody comes along, notices, and oh, huh, and he is saved. Thank you. High five. But Mr. Stickman here is not very smart. And this time, um, let's put um, 50 people in the equation. What happens is no one does anything. Why? Because they expect somebody else to do something. And by the time they decide to do something about it, it's a little too late because our stickman friend has choked to death. Cool story, bro. You think you're the only one in class? I was listening to you, you know? And that's the word so far. <laughs> and I don't think your masterpiece here is gonna make for the best presentation. I tried my best, okay? And can we all just agree to use Sunny's example, alright? Unless someone has a better idea? Anyone? Me? Me! Yeah. Sorry. Okay, um... Remember that case is based on? The Kitty case. There are two guys who came up with a theory who had some really cool experiments. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Mm. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I took a boo, my first time I didn't pull. Oh, so it's my fault lah now. I should psychically know what your schedule is. Why not? I talk about it all the time, what? Me. Research. I think I got it. 
So the cool experiment, this is the one. Now, back in the 70s, they actually tested this theory. Meet our volunteers, subject A and subject B. Let's call them Adam and Bruno. Now, let's start with the twitchy Adam. Adam here has no idea that the experiment has already begun. So, as he is innocently filling his questionnaire, a gust of smoke billows under the door. <laughs> I guess that's a normal reaction. Now, let's have a look at Bruno. This time around, let's put a little twist in this experiment. Meet actor 1 and actor 2. Now, Bruno has no idea that these guys are actors. And as smoke billows under the door, he looks around. Because they do nothing, he does nothing as well. Wait a minute, what's going on? The others have definitely noticed the smoke, yet they still do nothing. So I guess, as we can see, it's not as simple as see someone in trouble and go help. So before you go blaming anybody, shit just happens, whether you can control it or not. Enough! Just happened. Leave me alone. Yeah, Puni, calm down, please. What's wrong? You can tell me, right? What's wrong, Sunny? Everything is wrong. You tell that cuma perempuan selalu rasa sekarang. Every time a motor passes by, or when she's in the car park looking for a car, and that night, Madam Futsal you. Do you know how long I waited for you? Do you know how scared I felt? Sabah, me. I'm here now, okay? Lagipun dah ada minta maaf banyak kali kot. You know me, right? Dah lah, me hantai balik. Me. Me! Sunny? Yeah? Thank you. Besar pula? Sorry about just now. Tapi lah. Tapi. Just go. I can't want to stop you from watching football with your friends. You okay tak? Okay. I see you later. Set. Set. Me. Kita okay kan? Bongo. Enough! Can you 
you please stop? My God, how can you laugh at these things? Me? Shut up, Sunny. Remember last week? That thing that happened at Bukit Bintang? Some say there were three. Some say two. Some even said she tried to fight back. So many witnesses. Why this is happening? Because people are becoming brave. Brave because of people like you. How can we just turn a blind eye? It's always some stranger. Someone of no importance to you. So why? Why should we be responsible? Why should we even be inconvenienced? What if... What if it was your own child? Your own flesh and blood? What if... It wasn't a stranger? I'm not saying we're all heroes. That's just plain stupid. But what if... What if somebody took a chance and did something? 